Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uda Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to identify the winding of single phase induction motor or pump. So before we start this session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So this is the single phase induction motor. Here we have a terminal box and this is the starting capacitor if you open this box you will find the even four terminals sometimes three and even six but we always have a confusion regarding which one is a starting winding and which one is running winding and which one is common terminals so in this video we will identify the windings of this motor and even terminals so to identify the uh, terminals or winding of the motors we have to follow the steps so in case of four terminals if we have a motors and we have a four windings terminals taken out from the motors so in case of this what are the steps we have to follow to identify it? which one is running winding and which one is starting winding so first we have to check the continuity to find the winding terminals winding terminals then we have to check the resistance of each winding and note down the values so according to the value resistance value we have to identify the winding so high high resistance value is the starting winding and low resistance value is running winding so this is for four winding terminals box and in some cases actually common terms terminals are taken out from the in, inner side during the winding it is winded connected inside the motors at that condition there are three terminals only taken out at the power terminal connection box so at this situation what we have to do simply we have to check the resistance between uh, these three terminals one by one between like r and z then r b and g b so now let's identify the windings terminals windings which one is running and starting winding if we have a four terminals taken out like this here we have a suppose one two three and four terminals over here so first what we have to do we have to check the uh, continuity of the this winding actually at this moment we don't know which what term which winding is which terminal because it is hidden suppose we only can see these terminals not a wire so for that what we have to do we have to check the continuity so select this knob and set it to this continuity right and this common terminal let's wire it over here that let's touch it over here so at suppose this one is over here so at this condition what happened this will not make a beep sound that means this is not a winding terminals now next what we have to do we have to check again change the keeping the common value same and again check with this at this moment if it will make beep sound that means this is the winding one winding which has a two terminals okay again other one similarly we can find so up to here we can only find the winding terminals this so this one is one winding and this one is one winding but we have not yet identify the which one is running and which one is starting so for that we have to check the value resistance value of this winding so for that so let's check the resistance value so select this is to resistance over here this knob is at over here and common it to here and red probe is over here if you uh, connect like this and you will find the ohm value suppose suppose 12 ohm according to the pump capacity and motor capacity it values might be varied so here i assume 12 ohm so this is the 
12 okay now again let's uh, disconnect this probe this one is disconnected and connect it over this one so now at this condition this value is showing 8 ohm so here we have assumed 8 ohm now as per this resistance value we can identify which one is running and starting winding so we always know higher higher resistance value is the starting winding and lower resistance value is running winding so this one is starting winding and this one is running winding so in this way we can identify the terminals of winding of the single phase induction motor or pump okay even thickness cross sectional area of the starting winding is more like thick and because of its low resistance so resistance is always inversely proportional to the cross sectional area of the material and cross sectional area of this starting winding is less that's why resistance is high so for this in this way we can identify the winding terminal now here we have a three winding terminal so this is the motor terminal box here we have a three wires taken out like this we can only see this three, no, these three terminals winding terminals but which one is common and which one is starting and uh, running winding we cannot identify so to identify this we have to measure the resistance value to each terminals so let's uh, measure the resistance again set it to ohm and let's common value like common terminal over here and probe where so r and g r and g is what suppose this one is 10 ohm again g and b g and b if you measure the value it will show 14 ohm and now remaining which one r and b r and b suppose here we have assumed 24 ohm now first let's identify the common terminals the highest one resistance value which one is 24 ohm that means this is the sum of both resistance value running and starting so r and b this one r and b are starting plus running but we are not sure which one is starting and which one is running but we are now sure this one g1 is common terminal because remaining terminals are common terminals so we have already identified this one common terminal so this one is g1 green color wire is common terminal we are now sure now come to starting winding and running winding so as we always know so this one is common terminal so between common terminal r and g so r and g is 10 ohm and g and b is 14 ohm so among this which one is higher value 14 ohm hence this terminal is starting winding because higher resistance is always starting winding and 10 ohm so this one is between this 10 ohm so this one is running winding so in this way we can identify the winding of the motor as per this method so hope you understand about how to identify the windings of the single phase induction motor and pumps and even fan ventilation units so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next